Hello once again, and welcome to another episode of Tech at Light Crash Course. As you can see, I've got some walls down for my R&D facility. I've elected to go for the same uh, scaffold and construction foam that I was trying to use for the old factory, mostly because of that blast resistance I demonstrated. Because uh, in R&D lab, you know, stuff might go down. Things might blow up. So having a nice sturdy set of walls will at least prevent them from breaking. Uh, this has taken a while to dry, though, so I did want to show you some of the more curious aspects of construction foam, other than, you know, following the line of scaffolds. So I'm going to run down in my basement here to show you one of them. Now, I've already got, you know, my pack, and I've got my uh, sprayer, showing you previous episodes how to make those. So I have to remember how I got down here. Uh, I, I, I've been doing a lot of uh, sort of terraforming. Oh, yeah, there's a hole. I'm doing a lot of terraforming here, just trying to basically cover this up instead of having it open and exposed to the world like it actually is. Yeah, never mind that. But, yeah. Construction foam. When sprayed on industrial craft cables, covers the cables, as you can see. It does not replace the cable blocks, it simply covers them up, so as it dries, it'll become nice and hard. And if I order up some additional cables here, I'll be able to show you that even though it is now covered in construction foam, you still connect other cables up to it. Just as soon as that comes through. Creepers, man, I swear. No respect. No respect at all. I've got a nice wall of crafting, and they just come along and blow it up. Bunch of jerks. Filling up my inventory. This is another reason why I want to go with the um, the ME crafting and storage system. That way I don't have a uh, a pile of well parts and pipes and crafting tables to clean up every single time a freaking creeper goes off. Uh, plus it'll be much more compact. It won't be like this sprawling area that I have to constantly light up. I would probably should like fence this up or something, but yeah, I want to get rid of this. I'm tired of it. It's a pain in my neck. Might be next episode, actually. Uh, well, now the R&D lab is nearly up. But regardless, back to the task at hand. So, yeah, normally when you place a cable over a regular block that you can't connect to, it doesn't connect. But if you place it on a block, which just happens to be hiding a cable, whoop, it does connect. So you can actually use this to hide, very effectively, all of your... IC2 power cables. Neat. And I'm going to use this for a very particular purpose. Let me show you... Make sure there aren't any creepers floating around first. Show you a little something something real quick. Oh, not that button, that button. Uh, I believe it's called an illuminator? It's just illuminator. Illuminate. Here we go. Illuminator. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm on cheat mode. Excuse me. Okay, I want to show you the recipe. So for Illuminator, uh, you just need an ultra-low current cable, which I haven't used yet. Basically, it's a cable made of tin. Uh, a bit of copper cable, a bit of refined iron, and some glass. So I'm going to order that stuff up. I'm just going to go ahead and craft some, just to uh, just for demonstration purposes. I'll... Uh, next episode, mass energy. That's what we're going to do. Once I get some power set up. Maybe not next episode. Regardless, I'm going to get some stuff ordered. Alright, our stuff just came in. So, first we're going to make our ultra-low voltage cable. There we go. Drop that guy in the middle. Grab these guys back up. It's sort of forming the shape of a light bulb. Maybe like upside down. Put a copper cable on top here, and I'm not in crafting mode. There we go, Illuminator. That recipe gets you eight Illuminators. And this Illuminator, uh, where's the dark spot? Maybe just make one. Illuminators, they have to be connected to the IC2 power cables. In fact, let me turn down my brightness. Oh, that'll work. They have to be connected to the IC2 power cables in order to, well, light up. So if I just right click. And it lights up. Now, it's not the brightest thing in the world. It's about the brightness of a torch. 
So, you know, you would need banks and banks of these things to really effectively light an area. This is actually how I want to light the R&D lab. Because, well, it's, I just want to. Also because, you know, I can use the uh, construction foam. And it does work through construction foam as well. Now you notice these break like glass. They do not, in fact, come back when you break them. But anyway, yeah, I want to use the uh, construction foam, well, construction, in order to hide a bunch of cables for lighting and experiments and things like that. I'm going to lay these torches back down for another creeper spawns and blows up the rest of my wall. All right, another thing you can do with construction foam that you can't do with other blocks, you can paint them. Yes, I've talked about painting before. Painting you can do with, like, these uh, red power pneumatic tubes in order to separate them, but eh, that's kind of boring. I mean, what if I want to paint the walls, paint the floor, paint the grass? Well, I can't do all that. But I can paint construction foam. In order to do that, you need a painter. So I'm going to look that up real quick. Painter. So yeah, you don't want the paint brushes. Paint brushes are for red power. These guys are for industrial craft too. First, we need the base painter. The recipe. Not what? Not paint painter. Okay, get get out of that. Thank you. Recipe. So we need three wool and two iron. Very very simple. I like it. I'm gonna get some wool. All right, so iron's in. We've got our wool. Let's go ahead and make a painter. My crafting. Pocket crafting table would work. There's a way to get a crafting table built into the power tool as well. I'm not sure how to do that or how it works. I will probably do that, well, for next episode. You know, for reals this time. Get this stuff out of the way. You go out there. And voila. One blank painter. Now, blank painter you can't do anything with. But if you take a little die, what have I got in here? Uh, I'll grab some bone meal. Now this will go quickly, so you want to have plenty of dye handy of whatever color you're trying to use. Basically just take your painter, throw it in with the bone meal, or whatever dye you're using, and it'll give you a bone meal colored painter. Then you just take Mr. Painter, and you right click, and you right click, and you right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, and it'll turn any CF construction foam block the color that you choose. And the color is pretty vibrant. Uh, let me grab a red or something. Rose red. Here we go. Now, I don't know if you can just change the color of our painter. We'll all find out in a moment, won't we? Painter. Rose red. Nope. So I do have to grab a fresh painter. I'll just keep using the white for now until it expires. I can use this to make, uh, well, basically colored walls, colored houses. Say I wanted to turn the whole thing over there white, I could do that. Or if I wanted to change it for, you know, seasonally, I could just turn around and just change it up. Let's go ahead and whitewash these guys' houses that I built so long ago. Actually, for this very demonstration, <laughs> I had intended to do that with this, but I didn't. So, once it's run out, it'll just become a regular painter again. It doesn't break like the stupid paintbrushes. You just apply some rose red, and it'll turn red. So you see, it's a nice bright red color, so I mean, if you wanted to make some designs, do some cool stuff with it, yeah, you can. Very, very cool. Lots of creative possibilities. Uh, not sure exactly what color I'm going to make that out there. I might start with white, just a base of white. Um, one thing you do have to watch with this stuff, though, is if, you know, say you're on a server with some other people and you're using construction foam, Anyone can paint this stuff. I don't know if there's a way to protect it so they can, like, draw graffiti on your construction foam stuff if they were so inclined. Uh, not sure why they would be, but eh, it'll happen sometimes. Now, let me see if I can grab this in time. There's one more thing, actually back with the illuminators, that I can show you. All right, and we're back. Now, what I wanted to show you... Uh, say I hated creepers. I hate creepers so much, I just want to watch them burn. Like this creeper. This creeper has no idea what's going on. But I don't care. Now there's a luminator 
underneath him there. I didn't really show it before, you know, when I should have. But yeah, there's an illuminator down there on the ground. Uh, it's on top of construction foam, which is on top of, well, some bare cable here. Now watch what happens when I connect it up. So, as you can see, illuminators can be used as sort of a crude defense as well. Um, there are ways to actually activate these sorts of uh, cables and things using uh, redstone. So, you can set it up to detect when the enemies are nearby, fire up your illuminator, and up they go in flames. Fun, fun. Doesn't work on players. Only works on mobs. What does work on players, though, is bear cable. Yeah, it still hurts. Don't touch bear cable, kids. Ow. I'm gonna eat some of this stuff here. Well, I've still got a few minutes, along with all of the other crazy mods that are in Tech at Light. They've added a colored glass. That's right. You can actually have glass that's not just white. So we'll look up how to make that. I have made it a couple times in like single player games, things like that. Dang it. Hit escape. Then R. Basically, you need ceramic dye and, well, glass. To make the ceramic dye, you need clay and a color. So basically just clay balls, one color. Gives you actually four things of ceramic dye for each of these individual panes. It's kind of cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and order up some clay and some color. We're going to make some colored glass. Uh, I'm going to need more clay than that, though. Plenty of clay dust. That doesn't help me much. Well, we'll just make a few for demonstration purposes, and I'll work on making the rest. We're going to make a nice black glass for our R&D lab. We don't want people peeping in, after all. All right, now we're waiting on glass to smelt. While that's happening, I'll show you real quick. I don't have enough to do this demonstration here, but as you can see, you can also make these stained glass panes. Same idea as regular glass panes. You just line up six of the stained glass of a particular color that you want and makes the glass panes, just like regular panes. So just as soon as these are out, here we go, glass. Get crafting. Now I do like that I don't necessarily need to have a crafting bench to make this stuff. Oh, that's right, it makes a bunch of dye. I can order more glass. Sweet! I'm going to do that real quick. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so we got some more glass. I'm not waiting around all day for the rest of it. I'll worry about that later. So we just take our black stained glass, toss our ceramic dye on the ground. We're going to carve out eh, part of the wall here. I'll probably put regular glass along here just because it'd be kind of awkward to run panes along the uh, the edge. So I'm going to knock this stuff out. I'm just going to do a little bit so we can see exactly what it looks like. Take our glass, and just like any other glass, just lay it down. Now it's not, you know, like a real thick black privacy glass kind of a thing, but I mean it does have a very different look from the regular glass. Plus, it doesn't have those bright white streaks running through it, which is kind of nice. And, of course, you can have uh, all the colors that are available for dye you can make into this glass. I think even the indigo makes a blue. That I'm not sure of, that it had to test. But, yeah, this is going to wrap all the way around. Maybe even right next to the doors. I might have bought the doors. I might not. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll even make it nice and tall. Whatever. R&D lab. Illuminators for lighting. Gables, sitting creepers on fire. Fun episode. I liked it. So, until next time, hope everybody has a nice day.